Hi, my name is Elijah and welcome to my YouTube channel, Songwriting for Songwriters. Thank you for being here. You can browse around and see what's going on, but let me tell you what's going on first. Each week I release videos which are songwriting challenges, something to inspire you to maybe write a song this week. And I also release episodes of my podcast in which I speak to some songwriters of note and distinction. And this week I got to speak to the rock and roll icon, Susie Quattro. She's an amazing woman. Her energy is amazing. She's really inspiring. She's just written an album with Katie Tunstall and she speaks about their process, their collaboration. Um, she's just fantastic, to be honest. And uh, please check it out, episode 15. There is a slight technical fault with my microphone. My apologies, that's being sorted out. But you can check it out and all other uh, episodes. There's conversations with Scott Matthews, Catherine Williams, John Robb, Chris Difford from Squeeze. Uh, Sam Brown, so many, so please check it out. And thank you if you have already for subscribing, please do that, it helps me to build the channel. Last week's Songwriting Challenge was songs inspired by film and you girls and guys wrote some absolute belters. Well done, fantastic songs. If you'd like to listen to those songs, go to the video of last week or the video playlist, songs inspired by film, and you can listen to all of those. If you've written one and you haven't uploaded it yet, don't worry, just upload it in your own leisure time. And thank you for being part of this channel. This week's um, challenge is songs inspired by your first love. So think back to who that first love was. Now you might have got lucky and married that first love, in which case tell us that story. Uh, you might have fell in love with someone when you're four, or 14, or 44. Whoever it is, there's gonna be some kind of tale, some kind of story, something about them which you could tell us about which you fell in love with now Jarvis Cocker from Pulp is brilliant at sort of doing these kind of songs Disco 2000 is one of those songs where he you know fell in love with a friend called Deborah um, wood chip on the walls he describes you know what it was like when he fell in love with her back in the day how everybody else was trying to kind of get off with her but you know he was the one who really loved her so he's a good person to reference I think in terms of this kind of writing looking back um, you could write about how awkward it was, you know, the to kind of declare your love to this person. If indeed you did, maybe you didn't. Maybe you wonder where they are now, what they're doing now. But whatever the age you've fallen in love with somebody, it's a kind of overwhelming, slightly awkward, brilliant, heady feeling, isn't it? So, um, you know, do you keep that inside yourself or do you let them know? Or perhaps you're going to let them know with this song. So you could describe who they were, what it was about them you loved, when it was, were you at school, were you at work, was it a work colleague, did you meet them on holiday? Whoever it is, and why ever you fell in love with them, if you like, write a song. Now hopefully, whoever you're with now, if it isn't your first love, won't mind. Um, it's just an exercise, it's a story, it's a tale. So um, please just go back in time and remember who that was. Tell us about them, tell us about the tale of you two. You might have declared your love and they might have not wanted anything to do with you, in which case, tell us about how that felt. Any way you want to do it, I think this is quite a good little exercise to go back in time and write a song about your first love. My first love was, I think, I think I was about five and uh, I think I bought them a fridge magnet of a bunny and uh, gave it to their friend to give to them and I thought it was quite a good move. And at the end of the day, the friend that I'd given the fridge magnet to, to give to my first love, returned the fridge magnet and said, they're not interested. <laughs> so um, I remember being quite crushed by that. So uh, yeah, so any, there's gonna be some, you have fun with it, you know, you can have fun or you can be serious, but that's this week's subject. Songs inspired by your first love. If you haven't already, please subscribe and please share these videos um, and the podcast with whoever you think might be interested. Thank you so much for being part of this. I look forward to hearing songs inspired by your first love next week. Over and out.